Hi everybody. Today I am going to discuss about radius of gyration. Like moment of inertia, this is another property of a section and it is also a function of the second moment of area. As we know, a column tends to buckle about axis for which the radius of gyration and the moment of inertia are minimum. Also, the tendency to buckle, it is dependent on the shape and the dimension of the cross section and how it is supported. Here, I am considering an area A which has a moment of inertia Ix with respect to x-axis. If I imagine that the area, I mean this area, it is concentrated into a thin strip, say like this one. This area is concentrated as this thin strip which is parallel to this x-axis. If the area A which is concentrated as this one, it is to have the same moment of inertia with respect to x-axis, then this strip should be placed at a distance kx from the x-axis where this kx, I mean here, this kx is defined by the relation of this one. And solving, we can write like this. So what is the relation Ix equal to Kx square A? Solving, we get Kx equal to square root of Ix by A. So what you can say about this? The radius of gyration, it is termed as a square root of the ratio of moment of inertia to the cross-sectional area of the column. Again, this distance kx which is referred to as the radius of gyration of the area with respect to x-axis. Just it is what it is written as this one. Radius of gyration of the area with respect to x-axis, we represent this radius of gyration as kx. That's what it is. Now, if we think of getting ky, what to do then? Do the same thing, x-axis and y-axis, having origin O, and take a strip of this area concentrated here at a distance ky. This ky, it is defined by the relation as this one, k square, ky square a. Solving, we can write in the same way, ky equal to square root of iy by a. So, what you can say about Ky? The radius of gyration of the area with respect to y-axis. So, we got two things. One is Kx, another is Ky. So, let's move in the next slide to see how to generate, how to create a formula for 
rectangular sections radius of gyrations. I have taken here a column resting on a footing having section with two axes, x axis and y axis, width is b, height is h. For these rectangular cross sections, Moment of inertia we can write as bh cube by 12 and area is bh. So formula for the radius of gyration what we have found in previous slide it is moment of inertia divided by a and then square root. Now to find the radius of gyrations this divided by this. So, with simplification, we get it as h divided by 2 square root of 3. So, to find radius of gyration, we can use this formula or equations. So, let's move in the next slide. How to use this? column and section having b equal to 20 actually this b consider it as a small b because I made mistake in typing it will be a small b then a equal to b into h 1600 and moment of inertia will be bh cube by 12 putting the value for b and h we got 853000 centimeter 4 to the power 4 formula for the radius of gyration k and it is this one already we learned it so radius of gyration we can put the value for i and a already we know these two so easily we can get centimeter then we can convert it to millimeter it will be 231 millimeter again this kx we can find using the that simple formula h divided by 2 square root of 3 we got the same value now to find iy only the changes will be iy means this one will be hb cube this one bh cube so h is greater than b here h is i mean height here height here here actually height is this b and it is cube and this is smaller than this that is why our result is very small only 53000 this is 853000 17 times more so using this we could find this value i mean ky but i use only this simple formula to find ky i got 57.7 millimeter as i have said we need the least radius of gyration least so this one control the design section 57.7 millimeter radius of gyration it is controlling the design section that's all for today thanks for watching